Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would talk about warning signs and what my warning signs are, particularly my warning signs when I am coming down. I wrote some notes on my phone the other day when I started to feel like I was coming down and basically I am just going to read you the notes on my phone um, because I think that's just easier because uh, obviously when I wrote this that was how I was feeling at the time so you kind of get a good idea um, and I just want to quickly mention that um, everybody's warning signs are different so it's all about finding your particular signs um, and your triggers um, they could be completely different to mine or they might be slightly similar um, the more you kind of live with an illness the more you kind of uh, learn about it and you just figure out things that work and what don't so all I encourage is for when you're feeling low to write everything down and when you're feeling like high or manic write everything down as well because over time you will kind of see a pattern and you will see things that you know you can look back and say okay those are my warning signs of when I'm coming down and how do I um, react and what things do I need to do and put in place in order to stop the down or low period to getting worse or um, being dangerous so yeah I'm just gonna quickly read you what I wrote on my phone so this is what I put I think the longer you live with bipolar or any other type of disorder the more you learn about it and the more you become aware of all the warning signs today I've had many warning signs that I am what I call coming down which means my mood is slowly changing from being quite happy and stable to being depressed and sad. So these are my warning signs. The very first thing I will always notice is that I feel very emotionally unstable. I get upset by the smallest of things, my inner peace getting disturbed and it's having a great effect on me. So that is one of my first warning signs. It's the amber light flashing at me, um, telling me that I need to watch out and be careful and pay close attention to what's gonna happen next and how I'm going to feel over the next few hours. Um, and yeah, uh, I've also put, I then start to feel an emptiness inside which I think probably a lot of people get that. Um, that is then followed by me feeling sad and spaced out when I'm trying to do normal day-to-day -day activities. I just want to um, elaborate on that a little bit. I quite often, when I'm coming down, I can be around people um, and they can be talking to me about something and I'm not really listening because, like I said, I feel spaced out and start to feel sad inside and kind of numb and empty. And I think when you get those feelings, you definitely know that there is something going on and that your mood is rapidly changing by the minute. I also wrote, I then get paranoia, which will pester me the whole time I'm coming down. Paranoid thoughts about my animals and family. I get anxious and worried about these paranoid thoughts. Um, paranoia is a big one for me. And it's normally filled with all these worries and fears that I have. Quite often it's a lot of fears that come out and uh, it will, like I said, pester me the whole time I'm coming down and um, is really annoying and also really stressful as well. Um, I did do a paranoid thoughts uh, video. If you are interested in that, I will link that in the description below. Another warning sign is when somebody asks me how I am and in return I say, yeah, fine thanks, how are you? with a smile on my face 
knowing deep down inside that I'm lying to them. Again, another massive clue that I am coming down. When somebody talks to you or asks you and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, how are you? And inside you're like, no, I'm really not fine and I wanna scream and I wanna cry and I wanna tell you everything that's going on in my head but I can't because one, you're gonna think I'm absolutely insane or two, I'm gonna drain you and you're not gonna wanna listen and three, I would just rather keep it inside and wear a mask. Um, if you've had an illness a long time, you will be very familiar of wearing the mask. You will do it a lot, all the time probably. So yeah. Um, the last few things I wrote was not wanting to eat or can't be bothered to cook for me and my husband. I will usually say, let's get takeaway, let's get this, I can't be bothered to cook. Um, even just doing something simple like, I don't know, making toast or something really simple is really, really difficult for me, really hard. Um, when I feel that bad, it's just really difficult to make anything. Like, I would be too lazy to just go and grab an apple and eat it. Like, it's really difficult for me to get the motivation to sort of uh, have anything to do with food or being involved with food in any way. Uh, yeah, the last two things was not wanting to do anything, which I've kind of already explained with like the food, can't, can't be bothered to do anything and if my hair needs washing I'm like, can't be bothered to shower, can't be bothered to wash my hair, can't be bothered to look nice or put makeup on, don't really care, just want to sort of stay in my pyjamas and hide away. And the very last one which I put was wanting to isolate myself, which follows on nicely from what I just said about not wanting to do anything, not wanting to bother with myself and just be isolated. I don't want to talk to people, I don't want to be around my animals, I don't want to be around anybody, I don't even want to be around myself. Um, there's that Linkin Park song which I always used to listen to, which is crawling in my skin. Uh, yeah, those lyrics, uh, crawling in my skin. That is literally how I feel. I feel so irritated by myself. Um, and even hearing myself speak or do anything, even just me breathing really bugs the hell out of me. So yeah, those are my amber lights flashing at me saying Jesse pay attention because you are coming down. I have different uh, warning signs for when I'm coming up. Uh, I'll probably do a video on that as well because it's helpful I think and it's good for me to remember all these things so that if I am coming up or I'm coming down I can watch these videos and just familiarize myself with things that I feel at those times. I hope this video could be of some help to some of you, um, even if it's not, I'm documenting it and that's all that matters. I think that's important to document it. And yeah, get to know your triggers, your warning signs, and I think if you can do that, and you learn to deal with them at the time, you will reach recovery like quite quickly and you will gain things from it. You will get your life back um, slowly but surely. You will learn to get your life back gradually by doing these things. Um, these are the sorts of things that we go through with like therapists and stuff. I don't have therapy anymore, um, I used to find it annoying because I always felt like they were behind and I was always so far ahead and they just wouldn't catch up with what I wanted to talk about so I felt like we were always repeating stuff that I knew well and it just 
didn't work out for me in the end but um, if you are in therapy and it helps you continue doing that because it's really good for you um, and there's lots of things that you can learn on YouTube and online anyway so if you're struggling look things up um, and do lots of research and reading and things like that um, that's never a bad thing so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um, and if you watched till the very end thank you so much I will see you soon in my next video